Hello, doctors. So uh, now I'm going to discuss hypoglycemia cement station. So in hypoglycemia station, uh, when you enter the cubicle and you look at the monitor, all the vital signs are usually normal, okay? But if you do find any problem with oxygen saturation or breathing or circulation, then you can act, uh, as I told you, in the general approach. So if you find any abnormality in any of the uh, vital signs, then you go and correct them, okay? But in hypoglycemia stations, there is usually no abnormality in the vital signs. So you go up to the patient, you introduce yourself that, hello, my name is Dr. X. I'm one of the junior doctors here. Uh, are you Mr. Smith? But in hypoglycemia, the patient is usually non-responsive. So again, you ask Mr. Smith, are you all, are you all right? And then uh, when there is no response, then you go and um, proceed to check his uh, wristband, okay? There will be the wristband around his hand or um, around his wrist. So you go on and check the wristband to confirm his uh, name and age. After that, uh, you start with your airway breathing circulation and disability. But you know, as the patient is now not responsive, so you do not uh, need to talk to the patient and say that, Mr. Smith, can you please open your mouth for me? And I'm now going to uh, look at your chest, please. That sort of stuff. No need to say all those, like no need to continue talking to the patient, okay? Just verbalize for the sake of examiner. So um, when you check your risk, when you check the risk trend of the patient and you look at the monitor, the next step is to check his airway. So verbalize that I'm going to have a look at the patient's airway to make sure that it is open and just uh, tilt his chin and have a good look inside his airway. It will be open, okay? Then proceed to the B part, uh, verbalize it. I'm going to uh, have a look at the patient's chest, do inspection, and uh, in the inspection part, also check whether the trachea is central or not, and have a look at the JVP as well here, okay? So you have a look at the chest, and then you uh, check the trachea and have a look at the JVP here. All right, after that, move on to palpation, percussion, and auscultation, okay? All will be normal. After that, check the patient's uh, peripheries and then pulses and then blood pressure, okay? After that, uh, you come to the disability part. So all so we all know that the first step in the disability is to check blood sugar level. So you when, so when you go to the medicine cart and you pick the glucometer and you try to check the patient's blood glucose level, examiner will give you a finding at that point and he will tell you that the blood uh, glucose level is uh, three millimole or two millimole because four millimole per liter is the normal blood glucose level. Anything below that will be hypoglycemia. So you will say that, uh, as I can see that my patient is hypoglycemic, his blood glucose level is low. I'm going to pass a large bore IV cannula and I'm going to give my patient 10%, uh, 200 ml of 10% dextrose, or just say that uh, 100 ml of 20%. Okay. So for the 10% dextrose, you will do 200 ml. And for the 20% dextrose, you can give uh, 100 ml. So memorize um, whichever you like of these and verbalize just one of them, okay? Uh, and most of the people ask about whether we need to give glucagon intramuscularly or we need to give glucagon gel. So people, you are in the accident and emergency department, okay? And you have IV access, so better to give dextrose, okay? So because when we give dextrose to the intravenous route, it is the quickest way instead of giving glucagon as an oral gel or IM, and then it will do gluconeogenesis, and then it will destroy the blood glucose level. So dextrose IV is the quickest way. The intravascular glucagon or the oral gel is in setting where we do not have any IV access, okay? But in the cement stations, you are in the accident and emergency department, so you need to give dextrose. And for dextrose, there are two, uh, um, two types of solutions. There is 10% dextrose and there is 20% dextrose. For the 10%, you give 200 ml. For the 20%, you give 100 ml. So memorize one of these and give and verbalize it there, okay? So when you verbalize it, you actually go to the medicine cart and you pick the uh, dextrose solution and you hang it on the IV stand, okay? And then uh, recheck the patient's blood glucose level and then verbalize it. I will recheck the patient's blood glucose level after five minutes and then you will be given another finding. If the blood glucose level is still low, you will say that I will continue the IV dextrose, okay? 
but uh, most of the cases is usually normal. If it is low, then you verbalize that I'm going to continue IV distros and I will check it after five minutes. If it's still low, then you continue it again, okay? But most of the time it will return to normal and the patient will also uh, starts getting conscious, okay? And just continue your disability part, that is uh, check pupillary reaction, ask him to whether to he can raise your right, uh, his right hand for you. So the disability part is completed and then do the exposure part and after that, uh, take a quick history, okay? So can you please tell me what happened to you? Uh, has it ever happened before? Uh, do you have any medical conditions at all? Any allergies? And are you on any medications, okay? Now, as the patient is conscious, tell the patient that um, Mr. Smith, it seems like your blood glucose was a bit on the lower side. It is now normalized, but I'm going to uh, arrange a snack for you like a sandwich do you feel like eating because you know uh, once the patient is conscious we need to give long acting carbohydrates to the patient so that you will not relapse into hypoglycemia okay and tell the patient that we are going i'm going to document this event in your uh, in your notes and we are going to uh, admit you today and we will also consult with endocrinologist just review your medication and do the dose adjustment for you Okay, so there was some hypoglycemia and I will see you next time with another simulation.